Alright guys, Will here from ZaltechReviews.com uh, Back today with another review uh, Doing my usual style review uh, Non-edited uh, So if my dog barks If I fart, sneeze, cough It's going to be in the video I'm afraid Because I can't be asked editing I'll do like B-roll and stuff like that But as for sitting there and try to cut out uh, the small bits and all that, oh, I just can't be bored. Uh, today we're looking at the Audric Strider. It says stroller on the dial, but that's been changed. This is a prototype, obviously. It was changed because uh, stroller means push pram, or was to that effect, in America. So they changed it to Strider. Anyway, uh, let's get into the review. Play the intro. Right guys, the Audric Strider I would class this as like an everyday uh, sports watch You know, go anywhere, do anything You know, the usual, get a watch uh, These are currently on Kickstarter I believe there's about seven days left of the campaign. Uh, it's doing really well. Um, but hopefully with my review, it should bump it up a wee bit. Well, at least I hope so anyway, because it's definitely worth buying. It's a really nice watch. Um, price of these, at the moment, if you go to the... What? In fact, scrap that. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description, right? The link is to my website. Not the tripod. It's to my website, and there you'll get the landing page for this review, the Audric Strider, and it'll have the full specs, where to buy it, the Kickstarter link, everything you need. Uh, right, so price wise, if you go if you click on the Kickstarter link, you'll be able to buy it for around £450. That might seem a lot for a, a micro brand. That's roughly, by the way, $549 Might seem a lot But It's worth it uh, Definitely worth it uh, It's Swiss made Obviously Swiss movement um, Fantastic build quality uh, I highly recommend this one And I would Suggest it oh, There's loads and loads of different colourways But I'll get into that later Uh but I'd highly suggest that you do back this one. It is really well done. And as I say, this is just a prototype and I'm totally blown away by it. Uh, right, I'll talk dimensions. Uh, case diameter, I measured, these are my measurements by the way. Uh, 42.1 mil. The thickness is 11.3, which is good. Nice and slim. Uh, lug to lug of 47.8 mil. And it has a 22 mil lug width. The movement inside this, now, it says on their website you're going to get an ETA2824 or a Salita SW200 Elaborate grade. Um, I've had a look at this one and it's a Salita movement. I think, well, I don't know, I'm just guessing that they're going to have uh, Salita movements in them because the ETA movements are quite hard to acquire. Uh as I say, normal specs, 28,800 vibrations for, per hour. That's for both of them. Uh, 4 hertz. 26 joules in the oscillator movement. Uh, 25, I believe, in the ATA. Both hackable, self-winding, and both have a 38 hour power reserve. Uh, I wouldn't be bothered which one I got. To be honest, I'm more familiar with the oscillator than I am the ATA. Uh, I just seem to get more oscillator powered watches in these days uh, the case it's brushed and polished 316L stainless steel and it also has a hardening coating they call it what's it, uh, the Hexa Dory anti-scratch coating which is good, any anti-scratch coating I'm well up for uh, obviously 316L stainless steel in the mid case, the bezel, the crown bracelet, case back well case backs around because it does have an exhibition display case back with sapphire crystal, by the way. I just sort of 
throw that in there. Getting ahead of myself going through these specs here. Uh, look at that. Uh, lovely pattern on the dial, that texture, man. It's lovely. Right, I'm, as I say, I'm getting ahead of myself. Just give that a wee bite. Uh, obviously, I asked for the white version of this, but yet again, I never got the white one, and I was really disappointed. But we got what do they call this version? Carbon black. If I wasn't getting a white dial, I would have, I'd like the uh, the black dial, no matter what watch it is. But there's loads of colourways that I'll get into later on. Uh, Right, the bezel itself is fixed. It's also brushed and polished. As you can see, it's polished there. Jesus, my eyes are bad. It's polished there, like round the edge, and then brushed on top. And the quality, I mean, that brush in there on the bezel, super fine, man. It's absolutely fantastic. Really, really good. And it, the finishing is like this throughout the entire watch. Absolutely fantastic. Build quality is excellent. I mean, this is just a prototype and this is built extremely well. No wiggle or nothing. And the finishing throughout is great. Really well done. As I say, I'm getting ahead of myself again and I'll keep jumping into the specs. I'll just put that down. Uh, done that, done that, done that. Aye, back to the dial, textured dial, and it's textured in all colourways. Uh, hello, Gertie. My dog's just come in. Oh, she's away. She's better not start barking. Uh, aye, on the dial, uh, applied hour markers and Arabics. You've got buttons, and you've got Arabics at 12, 6, and 9. Um, you've got the, Aud the Audric logo there at 12 which is printed and the production one also says Strider instead of Stroller and it's got the water resistance underneath just nice clean 20 Atmos uh, underneath and you have six, uh, Swiss made at uh, either side of the Arabic at 6 lovely uh, minute track there on the chapter ring uh, up to a fifth of a second all the way around. Uh, the hands are skeletonized, but they're like a sword style with black in the center. So it looks like they're floating actually on this uh, carbon black dial. Um, what else can I say? Date at three and it's framed. Uh, the loom is absolutely fantastic it is my preferred loop which is c3 x1 grade i think it's the best there is if it's applied correctly and it is applied correctly on this one as i say it's a prototype as well and they've really went to town on it um oh there's also loom on the crown, the logo, uh, the logo itself, that's all loomed up as well, and it's they've no skimped on that. It's still C three X one. Um, beautiful, beautiful watch. I love this. I wish they just sent me the white one. Oh, that if they sent me the white one, I would have probably said to them, "Can I buy the prototype?" If it was a white one, I'm pretty sure I would, because I'm really impressed with this black one. And white would just take it over the edge for me, because you know how much I love white tiles. Right, I've mentioned that, done all this. Uh, the bracelet, the bra oh wait a minute, I've said the loom. The bracelet is 316L stainless steel, solid link, screw pins, uh, a custom milled clasp. And it's the perfect size, it has three levels of micro adjust, but I can let them... Maybe another one would have been nice, but to be honest with you, three's enough because it's bigger. The span of that three micro adjustment holes is bigger than one link anyway, so you're going to get a good fit. Obviously signed in that. 
uh, brushed on top with polished chamfered edges to match the rest of the watch and the watch head itself. You also have on the bracelet links, it's polished on that top edge there just to keep that flow going right across the, the clasp and bracelet right up to the watch head. It's lovely and there's no sharp edges underneath, it's really nice and smooth. Uh, the links themselves, really good quality. The screws that it's held together with is fantastic quality as well. Straight in, straight out. There's no soft screws or cross threading or anything like that. It's all very, very well put together. Right, I'll put that back down. Let's oh, hang on, get my wee cloth. Just keep it all nice and shiny. Oh, quick slurp of coffee, hang on. Oh, ah, lovely jubbly. Uh, right, where was I? Uh, the crystal, it's a flat sapphire. And there's an absolute shit ton of anti-reflective coating on it. You can see the blue hue from it. Wait, I'll get that back. There. But... It says on their website that there's only, well it doesn't say anything, it doesn't say me how many layers it's got, but I believe this has got an absolute shit ton of layers because you take it out in normal sunlight or daylight and you can barely notice the crystal. It feels like you could just put your finger in and touch that textured dial. Uh, so, uh, as I say, a prototype and it's got, uh, there's no hell back at all man. Lovely. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm giving this watch a lot of praise but it's not perfect but I'll get into that at the end of the video um, water resistance 200 metres 660 feet uh, the case back as I mentioned has let's see if I can get into this here it's probably a wee bit we mock it uh, it's got Exhibition display with a sapphire crystal and it's got the specs around the edge there. Uh, it will say, obviously it will say Strider instead of Stroller. Um, that's about it. The case back surrounds polished, by the way, which I don't mind, quite like. It's nice, very nice. That's the case profile as well. It looks really... See, it kind of juts down at the end there. It's quite a compact uh, lug to lug as well. Right, anyway. I'll put that down. Uh, the crown is 7mm. Uh, screw down, obviously. Signed it in. The logo's loomed, as I previously mentioned. Uh, Weight-wise. Sized up for my 6 and 3 quarter inch wrist. Oh, oh, you bastard. See, I tell you, I'm not going to cut that out. I didn't cut that out because I can't be arsed. Uh, aye, weight-wise, you're looking at 163 grams. So it's got a fair bit of heft, but it's not overly heavy. Uh, that's sized up for my six and three quarter interest, as I mentioned. Um, for more details on the watch, although I've got all the details on the link I put in the description on my own landing page, all the specs, everything background of the brand and all the rest of the stuff and obviously the link to the Kickstarter campaign. Uh, right, options colour wise you have this carbon black version, you've got ocean blue, you've got granite or granite granite, granite I would say granite. Granite grey. Uh, you've got like a copper cream which is really unusual. Quite like that one. You've got Alpine White, which is obviously my favourite, and you've got a Forest Green. Warranty wise, you're looking at two years full international warranty. All good. Right, um, there were a bean bits of B roll in that, showing you a loom shot. There's my fucking dog barking. Shock horror. Bats at a rain shadow, and I'm no kidding. She sees a reflection in a window or something and starts barking thinking it's a different dog. 
stupid dog. Right. Anyway, uh, wrist shot. Oh, I better zoom out a wee bit. Wrist shot. And there you go there. Wears really well. Wears fantastic on my wrist. And you wouldn't even think it, it's a 42 mil. Mainly thanks to the kind of compact. Let's see. Look at that. Sits on my wrist perfectly. It's one of the best fitting watches that I've experienced. Especially for what you would call a 42. But. Wears great. Really does. Build quality is outstanding. Look at how that light show on the bracelet there. The way it shimmers and bounces off the light. It's the same on the, the dial as well. Once you get the indices and that hitting. And the arabics and whatnot. It's all good. Um, as I said earlier. It's not a perfect watch. Now if I was in charge of design. And I was put. Well, no in charge, but if I had to sign off the design, I would say, right, what would I change? Well, not a lot, really. Pretty much 99% I would keep as is, because I can't fault it. The only thing I would change is I'd put an Arabic at 3 and move the date to 6 and colour match it for each and every model. That's it. I wouldn't change it another thing because it's a fantastic watch. Beautiful dial and everything, man. Anyway, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I highly recommend it. Now, remember and click the link in the description and you'll get all the details and the Kickstarter thing and all the rest of it. As I say, there's seven days remaining. Uh, highly recommended. And... Even though it's quite expensive for a micro brand at five fifty dollars, trust me, you're not going to get a pretty much. You're not going to get a, any better watch for that kind of money. It's under five hundred pounds, so I I would pay it all day long. It's definitely worth it. Right, guys, uh, that's it for today. I'll see you in the next video. Please like this video and if you've not already subscribed, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video. Toodles!